Hello fellow compatriots, this is your host Tripjun here and today we're going to be taking a look at Volivius Toa Nui of Pride. Now this was made by all the Toa Mata sets that came out officially and I still have parts remaining as you can clearly see. I built this in a live stream. If you want to see me build it live for yourself, go ahead and check the link in the description down below. And if you want to see more photos of this guy, go ahead and check out Flickr and Instagram. Links to that are in the description down below. But anyways, yeah. Um, I still had a lot of parts left over. I wasn't so sure what to do with it. But the end result, as you can clearly see, was worth it. So let's go ahead and start with the feet up. Very solid design all the way through, as you can clearly see. Uh, no ankle tilt, though. Um, there is no ankle tilt or four pivot or anything. They're solid bricks. Uh, but you do get a 90 degree bend at the knee. So you have that. Um, for the leg, for the upper legs, you've got full splits. Uh, and they can go forward and they can go back uh, quite a ways. So you got plenty of range there for the arms, as you can see. You can move forward, move back. Not that much outward. You can go a little bit inward and you can twist the hand however you please. And same with this hand over here. So you can still put the, the hammer over the shoulder. And yes, this is a hammer and it has a hook at the end and it's covered with gears. Uh, nothing at the waist, uh, nothing on the shoulders either. Uh, the head is stiff, but as you can see, it got horns, it has a kakama. Uh, the idea that I went with making this was using, having wisdom, the Toakata wisdom to be on the left, while Valor being on the right. So it's like, uh, the two kaitas merged into one being. That's the principle that I went with when making this guy. So, Wisdom, Valor. That's why there's a little bit of color differentiation and some mild changes uh, in terms of detail. Like there's a hook over here, and a hammer and all that. Go oh, this side, not so much. Um, and he even has a ponytail as well and a pair of wings that are posable. Now to go over the functions, you pull back the head or the ponytail, whichever you prefer, and the wings expand. Um, so that when he's looking up, he can he looks like as if he's flying. So you can have him flying if you want him to. And the wings just lower just like that. Uh, if you want the wings to be down. Also, another gimmick is the leg kicking function has a leg kicking function it doesn't have both legs swinging it's just one um, because i found that kind of quirky with the kaida that's just my personal opinion so just have one leg kicking i think that's good enough you don't need both legs kicking uh, but yeah so you got that function out of the way and that's pretty much it for this guy um uh, let's go ahead straight into size comparisons here he is uh, we're next to a Tahunga. You can see he's he's just massive. He's just absolutely massive. Uh, here he is with good guy. Still big. Even compared to Arakshi with leg straight, he is absolutely tall. Like very tall. Um and Pretty thick and chunky as well. And of course, last comparison. Here he is compared to a Nui ja a Terakava. Not Nui Jaga, Terakava. I know I was about to say Nui Jaga. Don't flack me out for that in the comments. It's Terakava, I know. My teal baby. There we go. So yeah, about the same size as a Terracava, if not taller, if you count the horns. Yeah, it's a big dude. It's a pretty big dude. But yeah, that is Volivius, Toa Nui of Pride.
So I hope you enjoyed this review. Now, of course, if you want to see more photos of this guy, go ahead and check him out on Flickr and Instagram. I got f more photos of him over there. Links to that are in the description down below. But anyways, that's about it for this guy. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys!